you know what I'm saying? You said you wanted some uh some some so like feedback, I think that would be fire. I've always dreamed of having that, the ability to just switch the guard up, do Philly, go full guard, depending on the situation. If I can't counter or catch my opponents or I can't really figure them out, like, you know, the the, the Philly might not be comfortable. So I'll, I'll throw the full guard up so I can get my bearings and then maybe go back to the Philly when I get a rhythm. Come on, man. That's a good, that's a good idea. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Lil C. Shotter, coming at y'all with another video today, man. This is Devlog11 on my solo project called Bloody Knuckle Street Boxing. Now, I don't think this Devlog is going to be too long just based on the simple fact that every time I get on the game to work on it, I always end up playing it for a long time anyway, dog. And that's not a bad thing at all. It's a good thing because that lets me know that I'm pretty much done with the gameplay because there really ain't a whole lot left to do. The only thing that I'm working on right now is just nitpicking little things, trying to fix glitches that I've been letting slide for months at a time without touching them because they weren't that big of a deal. It, there's nothing major left. Trust me, we talking 95, maybe even up to 98 percent there ain't a whole lot left brother before we get into this video man i definitely want to take the time out to show some love to our brother mickey scholar who just got his seventh professional win this past saturday december 17th man in a unanimous decision this man is 20 years old and he signed the mayweather promotions and just a few months ago he took the time out of his day to reach out to me on instagram and show his support for the game so you know i gotta return the favor man i'm just i'm just amazed the fact that we just got these type of people in the community we got real boxers Boxers in our community, bro. So I definitely want us as a community to get behind this kid, bro, as he's on the rise right now. And he's very talented. And you know if we get behind him, he gonna turn up. He not gonna let us down, brother. So we definitely want to get behind this kid because he is the future of boxing, brother. And as boxing fans, we definitely want to see good fights, brother. So anyway, man, we gonna get right into this video, brother. And make sure y'all watch to the end because I got a surprise for y'all, boys. All right, y'all, y'all know how we do this, bro. We do everything live with the hand cam so y'all can see everything that I'm doing as I'm doing it. You're literally getting a sneak peek into how to play the game. So there's no excuses when y'all finally get your hands on it, brother. So anyway, bro, I'm going to start off with the visual upgrades because they're right in your face, and I know they popping out real good. So I've been playing around. Hold on a second. Ear itching like a bit. Ah. Ah, all right, there it is. That's why I don't like wearing headphones like this. <laughs> but anyway, brother. Uh, so you see, man. Uh, I've been I've been playing around a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I I figured that you know I, I always learn things when I be messing around with stuff. I never learn through actual research. I always just be messing around with stuff. And one thing that I've I've been messing with lately is normal maps. I know that's Chinese to y'all, but it basically has to do with textures. So as you can see, it's like the textures textures are the actual image themselves you see the bricks in the background you see everything there has an image the normal map is the detail on the image so if you look at the bricks you can see indentions in the bricks you can see all of the details in the bricks as well as the player you can see now his fade actually looks like a fade let me let me turn him around a little bit so yeah so you can see his fade is an actual fade now it looks like my boy actually got a haircut which i'm really really happy about because for the longest, this boy was just sitting up there with a with a with basically a toupee on his head. Look, he had a hair piece. Now it looks like this boy actually got a fade going on. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, the same thing goes for all of his clothing items. You can actually see the seams in the clothes now. I hope you can see that. Hold on. Here's my mouse. Let me get my mouse. You see right here, you can actually see the seams in his clothes. You can see the elastic in the, um, in the hoodie right here. Same with the gloves. Hold on, let me turn around so you can see the gloves a little bit better. Yeah, so if you look a little bit closely right here, you'll be able to see the actual details and, and the, the wrinkles in the gloves, the wrinkles in the leather and all of that stuff. Same with the shoes. You know what I'm saying? You can actually see the ridges in the shoes and all of that stuff. So yeah, it actually, yeah, it looks a whole lot better. 
Another one of the upgrades that I made is that I animated the player indicator and he also has a figure in the middle of it. And what that is, is that represents the kind of block that you got. So, hey, shout out to Fanatico because I got this idea from him. It took a while to get to it, but I actually got to it. So, hey, you can actually change your block now. And as you change your block, the indicator changes. The icon on the, in the middle changes. So, yeah, you can change your block as much as you want to. So, yeah, eh. Just like that. Change your block. And you can also go southpaw. So, eh, yeah. And you'll see that the player indicator, it also switches size too when he does that. Now, I don't know what that glitch is whenever I change. Because I've been working on that for a while now. And the, the, the way that I tried to do it before, it worked. But there was a lot of glitchiness to it. Because when I would switch... He would still be throwing, like he would be southpaw, but he would be throwing orthodox punches and his body would get all twisted up and his targeting system would get out of whack. So what I did was I actually made a a, um, a whole new animator controller, basically what his, um, what his animations are. I just, I just duplicated the one that I had and mirrored it. So that was the best way to, um, to get the shit to switch. It looks stupid whenever, for some reason, every time he switches, he takes body damage. Well, he doesn't actually take body damage, but it just, he does the body damage animation. But, hey, it works, though. All of the punches work, though. And that's that's what the, that's what I was trying to accomplish. So, yeah, that's one of the small things that I have to nitpick, like I was saying earlier. I got to figure out what that glitch is so I can stop it so we can have better, smoother changes. But yeah, man, we got it, bro. You can switch South Pole, man. So, yeah. Yeah. Like that. Ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, well, shit. I guess since we over here throwing punches, I guess I ought to go ahead and let y'all boys know I done changed a couple of the puncher animations. So, uh, we definitely have all new Haymaker animations, right? So, uh, hold on. Let me switch back to Orthodox because I don't like I don't like fighting South Pole because I'm not South Pole. <laughs> but yeah, check the new jab. That's a new jab. I love this new jab. This jab right here is 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 definitely is definitely better than the last one because the last one it was like it forced a step in, but this yeah you can stay right in place with this jab. It's quick, it's snappy, and it keeps you at bay. Uh, 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 uh. Still got the on power jab. You know what I'm saying? I left at it, but yeah all power punches so let me let me run y'all through all of the new punches right here so yeah definitely got that new that new standard jab new straight huh so we got regular straight power straight i use the original power right hook as the as the light right hook because it just it's a better looking hook and this this is the the power hook this is the new ah uh, see how he reaches ah uh, like let me back off so and turn the target and all but you see this was a lot more better ah uh, same with the left hook ah uh. They just got a lot more, more pop to them. Hen, 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 hen. They just got like a little more pop to them. Same with the uppercuts. Hen. See, he puts his, he puts more of his body into these uppercuts. Uh, and you know, spam the thing. Ha, 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 ha. You know what I'm saying? I like these. I love these new punches, dog. Another thing I did to the animations too is I actually added new walking animations. So I got the diagonals finally. So you see there, he's walking diagonally now. So yeah, he got he got diagonal in every direction now. So I now have a four-way walking. I, I now have a four-way walking system. It's not the crispiest, but it works though. It works really good, and I like it better this way because it definitely it definitely uh, takes some of the responsibility off the animator. Because the animator is not always constantly making calculations of where his forward direction is, and it's not auto correcting my position. So I noticed that when I'm fighting with the with the auto rotate on, it kind of over corrects some of my some of my uh, angles or whatever. And I think I like it a little bit better when I, I when I angle myself off the way that, it, that I want to, and it stays at that angle. Because then I can kind of stay at that angle and adjust accordingly. You know what I'm saying? It's just more, more skillful. But what I think I'm going to do is give y'all the option to turn auto rotate on or off or um, like have it to where you can adjust how much auto rotate there is so that you can, you know, fit it to your liking. All right. So now we over here in the sparring scene. Man, I'm going to show y'all a couple of these upgrades that I made. Um, 
as y'all can see, like I definitely told y'all about um, me possibly having ring ropes now. Um, this is not it, bro, but I just wanted y'all to see the visual of how it looks. And yeah, it's it works out. It, it works out. Like I, I, I'm definitely gonna, I'm definitely gonna have to um, figure something out with this. And I, I pretty much know what I'm gonna do. I'll just get into that later because it's a part of the surprise that I got for y'all. But yeah, man, the, the ring is looking good. You can see I got another character model as well. Um, I just downloaded another character model, a couple of character models um, at that, and I just wanted to see how it looked. Um, definitely, definitely liking this boy. He's a, uh, I call him Hector. Call the boy Hector. He he a little he a little Hispanic looking dude. You know what I'm saying? But um yeah, I think if I had time, I'm gonna go ahead and spar that boy for y'all because I know y'all want to see some footage. This right here is a game changer, right? So remember the vulnerability, right? So if you look over here in the attribute script, I have power and I have available power. The available power is the value that's used in my damage calculations now. So as you punch, this is directly tied to your stamina, just like the vulnerability. So huh, 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 you just spam, spam, spam. And as you can see, his available power is going down, it's going down, it's going down. So whenever you spamming, you can spam all you want to. You can spam, it's so many combos that you can spam. You can spam all you want to, brother. But the thing about spamming is, not only are you making yourself vulnerable to get knocked out, but you're also not doing nothing. You can land all the punches you want in the spamming, but the more you throw these punches, the less sting they gonna have. So it's really not gonna help you to spam. Even though you can spam, spam at your own risk, bro, because you're not gonna be doing nothing. You're not gonna be doing nothing at all. Because I definitely, definitely don't want nobody out here spamming bro we all hate spammers last thing i want to show y'all boys is this parry system i finally completed the parry system and it is definitely challenging it's very hard to parry but hey if you got the skill if you got the timing it's all about timing this game is all about timing so let me go ahead and fade this boy real quick and i'm gonna try to get some parries in there i'm gonna try to go ahead and sleep this boy with the parry because i didn't get to do it that last video so all right full screen all right, we in here. We in here. We had to turn Hector off because Hector still, Hector still got some glitches, bro. And this is the main guy. This is the main guy right here. Hold up. Damn, hold up. He, oh, see, he throwing them. Uh, I'm going to try. Uh, hold up. Uh, I'm going to try, try to parry him. I'm trying to parry this boy. It, it's really hard, bro. You really, you know you, bro. You know you fighting the real one if he parry. <laughs> if you get parried by this guy, if you fight against anybody and he done parried you, bro, you know you you know you got a knight ahead of you, boy. Uh. But I would think that it'll be a whole lot easier when you're actually fighting against somebody because this guy he's he's a computer and he's on a pattern. He's on a pattern with a lot of randomness to it. But you know, like you know, you fight against somebody. And they got patterns that you can kind of guess. Uh, oh, I, th I thought I got them. Yeah, it's really hard. Uh, it's all about, uh, there it is. There it is. That's that parry. That's that parry. It's really hard to do, bro. But it's like, the way you do it is like, you got to you gotta match the head movement too. Like, sometimes you got to use the head movement to get. Yeah, sometimes you got you to gotta couple the parry with the head movement to actually get it to land. Because what it is is, he actually has to yeah he when you do the parry his fist got to go through it his fist got to hit that parry at a specific time though like it's definitely on a timer there's a parry window just like definitely i would say that uh i would definitely say that using head movement is an easier way to counter parrying is really hard but in order to get a counter from your head movement you got to put your head down doesn't work unless you got your hands down this is how you counter with your hands down if you block it takes that away but you can use that you can couple that with the head movement and get a parry uh, uh. oh he missed that oh let me switch blocks on him. let me let me switch to the yeah so you got you got the parries in every you got the parries in every one of these too Every one of these block styles has its own parries. So, hold up. Uh, uh, and there's a timer. Once you go for a parry, you make yourself vulnerable to get hit too. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to make it overpowered. So every time you parry, your block goes down and you got to reset that block. 
Eh. See, every time you gotta reset it. It resets and you gotta block again. So you just gotta you gotta have your timing on point. You know what I'm saying? High risk, high reward, right? Man. Oh my god. I'm sorry, bro. These frame drops making it hard to play, bro. It's so crazy, bro, because y'all, every time y'all see footage, y'all see it with the frame drops, but like it's only because of OBS. I promise you. It's only because of OBS. Whenever I'm playing this game and I'm not on OBS, it's smooth as shit, bro. It's so smooth. But it's that OBS. Y'all will see when y'all get to play it, bro. That's coming soon. But anyway, let me let me go ahead and sleep this boy. Hold up. Can I can I knock him out with a pair? Uh, hold up. Can, can I knock you out with it? Oh my god! <laughs> it wasn't a parry, but god damn that boy got slept. <laughs> Okay, one more, one more, one more. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and make quick work of him this time. I'm gonna make quick work of him this time. I'm gonna go ahead and fade him for real. I'm gonna go ahead and fade him for real. Hold up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I figured y'all might want to see Southpaw. Let me go ahead and fade him Southpaw. Hey. Oh, shit. Yeah, I noticed like the uh, the high guard like this, this works better for the outside because it, it definitely creates traffic. For his punches so a lot of punches don't go through just just because of the placement of his hands philly shell philly shell is more like an in-between it works really good on the inside the philly shell works really good on the inside um hold on let me show you because like when i whenever i get into the clinch it's like ah damn and it cracked me right then hold up ah. the philly shell is definitely good in the clinch so is the peekaboo Oh, that's cat. Oh, he blocked that. He blocked the counter. He blocked the counter. No, the AI getting raw. I ain't gonna lie. Like I'm really scared. To, I'm really scared to see where this boy gonna be at when I finally get him pivoting and dashing and you know trying to keep his distance and you know retreating whenever he gets hurt and putting on rage mode because he can't do none of that. God damn, I can't counter this dude. <laughs> I cannot counter him, dog. These frame drops be messing with me, bro. Oh, no, I thought that was one. Eh. Oh, my God. Right out of reach. Oh, there it is. Come on, come on. I need one more. I need... Oh, damn. See, as you can see, bro... Countering is not overpowered at all, bro. The best defense for counters, the best defense for somebody who tries to um, be overwhelming with the counter punches is to overwhelm him with volume. Just like real life. Oh, my God. Hold up. Let me, oh, I'm going to try to. I really want to parry this, boy. It's so hard to parry, though. But it's supposed to be hard, right? It's all about timing. Huh? There it is. Yeah. Mmm. Hey, niggas. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's enough of that, man. That's enough of that. All right, so with that being said, man, I'm going to go ahead and get into this news, bro, so we can get up out of here on a good note. All right, so... First things first, I'm definitely in the middle of constructing a demo. I want y'all boys to be able to get y'all hands on this game, mainly because I want y'all to break it. I want y'all to find every glitch that I missed so that I can fix them, bro, because I don't want to put out no glitch-ass game because I know y'all going to be on my head if I do that. So, yeah, man, we going to get that shit done. Just give me a little bit of time because I got to fix a lot of things. Definitely with my menu system. I don't know how my menu system got glitched out, but it's been glitched out for months. I don't know what it is, but I'm definitely going to have to really get in there and figure out what I did wrong. More than likely, I'm going to have to start all the way over and make my menu system from scratch. But that's one thing. Biggest news that I want to give to y'all boys today is that I'm furthering my education. Luckily, I had this on my mind on Black Friday, so I was able to get a course for $25 that would have normally cost me $250. I got it for $25, but yes, I am getting ready to learn how to create my own characters. I love this character that I've been dealing with for the past year, but 
I just can't go with him. I can't use him because unfortunately I can't animate his face. And what kind of game am I going to be dropping if the faces aren't animated, bro? I have to be able to animate my face. So definitely getting ready to learn how to make these characters. Um, that way y'all can have some, some, uh, some personality and some customization in the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have every race of, uh, person in there. Not gonna have too many, um, characters, but, you know, definitely gonna be a black guy, white guy, Mexican, Chinese, whatever. You name it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's gonna be able to, to put themselves in the game. I'm gonna learn how to make all the facial hair and the clothing and all that. You know, I tried to go the route of, of having somebody else create characters for me earlier this year, and it just didn't work out. I ended up wasting my money. Um, Got good characters, but they just weren't what I was looking for, and you know how I am, bro. I'm a do-it-yourself kind of guy. If you want something done right, you got to do it yourself, brother. So, yes, we are definitely fixing to get the ball rolling on this, and I'm getting ready to get started on this course, bro, and... Hey, I'm going to just keep y'all boys posted, man. So so uh, most of the dev laws from here on out are not going to have anything to do with gameplay, man. But anyway, I really appreciate y'all boys, man. From the bottom of my heart, I really do. Because y'all come on here and y'all show me so much love, so much love, so much love, bro. When y'all could easily be negative. It's easy to be negative. People love negativity. Y'all have the chance to be negative at every turn. Every time I post something, y'all have a chance to be negative. And yet, y'all still choose to be positive and, and, and continue to build me up and build my confidence, brother. It's hard putting yourself out like this, bro. And y'all make it easier because I know that I got support from y'all boys. And, hey, I appreciate it. I can't even really say much more about it. I really appreciate y'all, brother. Y'all could be negative, but y'all being positive as hell, and I really appreciate that, man. So, um, yeah, make sure y'all boys leave a like on this video, man. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you're watching from Fanatical's page or, or uh, watching from Study, make sure you come over here. Just come over here, drop by, and leave a like real quick, and then you can go because I know you didn't seen the whole video already. But anyway, man, it's your boy, Love C. Shawty. I will see y'all boys in the next one. Peace.